Alright, guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a crafting system in Roblox Studio. So yeah, um, I'm going to go and show you guys how it works, and then we're going to show you guys how to make it. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> right, let's go and start this out and see how this works, okay? Alright, we're in the game here, as you can see, I have 10 wood, I have 10 stone, okay? And obviously, if, if you make this in your actual game, you probably can customize it a little bit more than this, but... As you can see here, I have 10 wood, 10 stone, and okay, let's say I want, hmm, a wood sword, okay? I click on the wood sword, it takes away a wood, because that's how much it costs to make, two wood, and as you can see here, I have a wood sword now, so it works perfect, I mean, that's that simple. Um, and then I have a wood pickaxe, which also costs two wood, I think. Oh no, that one costs three wood. So as you can see, now I have a pickaxe, and boom, it looks uh, not not too great, but <laughs> it is a wood pickaxe. Uh, and then let's try the stone sword, and boom, I have a stone sword. Uh, so yeah, it works just fine, and it took away my stone. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this in today's video, and also you can tie it in with my inventory system if you want to. It actually would work just fine if you wanted to. So uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, so. First things first, go, let's go ahead and open up a blank base plate, okay? Um, so let's go ahead and get a blank base plate. All right, and then we're going to need to get a few things, okay? Obviously, we need our tools. So let's go ahead and get a stone sword. Uh, and then we'll need a wood sword and then a wood pickaxe. So I looked in the toolbox. I'm not going to make these. I don't really care to make them, to be honest with you. Um, but let's get a stone sword, wood sword, and then we need a stone pickaxe. Uh, these are all in the toolbox, like the first results, I'm pretty sure. I mean, we need a wood pickaxe. These are all in the toolbox. These are like the first results I found. So you should be able to find it pretty easily. Uh, and then wood pickaxe, and then we're done. All right, and then we're gonna need to actually make a few more things, but there we go, we got a wood pickaxe. All right, and now let's go ahead and put all these things. Actually, first of all, let's rename them. So rename the stone sword to just stone sword without the space in it. Um, and then pickaxe with actual ax at the end. And then wood sword is fine. All right, perfect. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and um, move all of these tools to our replicated storage right here. But we're going to make a folder in here, and we're going to call this uh, tools, okay? Because we're going to need to actually access them whenever we create the tools. We need to actually like, clone them and then put them in the game. All right, so there we go. We got that. Uh, and then we're going to need to go ahead and create a, um, a, okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry. All right, we're going to need to create a uh, remote event, and we're going to call this craft uh, tool okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and create a starter GUI or screen GUI and we'll call that main GUI And then we're gonna go ahead and sort of frame in there. We'll call it actually it'll insert sort a of scrolling frame I like those look they look we'll call that a uh, crafting frame There we go, and then let's move that down there make it a little bit bigger uh, Let's mess with the properties a little bit. Let's um, uh, Make background just to like point point four make the background color to like black perfect and then we're gonna go ahead and actually move the scroll bar to the left side there we go and that should be good all right and then we're gonna go ahead and insert some uh, text buttons in there and we're gonna call these text buttons uh, the name of the sword or the name of the item or the tool so we'll just call this one wood pickaxe and then we'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger put this right here text scales um, here we go wood pickaxe Okay, and then we'll make this a different font because I don't like that font. And there we go. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and create uh, three, a few more of these. Then we're going to rename this one to Wood Sword. And then we're going to the text to Wood Sword. And obviously, guys, if you're making this in your actual game, probably make a better system for this. <laughs> um, but, you know, you can do whatever you want. The text can be something, and the text can be whatever you want, but make sure like, the name of the uh, text button is right. All right, and then we'll make one more. We're going to call this one Stone Sword. And if you want to insert your word items, you definitely can. Uh, it's pretty simple. Just make a new text button and make sure you have a corresponding tool in there. And then also, whenever we put the data in for like the crafting stuff, we'll do that too. All right, anyways. So that we have that. And let's rename that to Stone Sword. And then we'll be done with this. Okay. So we're done with the setup, finally. All right, now we can start scripting. All right, so first things first, we're going to need to actually insert a script into our service script service, which is going to create a few basic things like... Um, like our uh, leaderboard stats, and then we're gonna actually do so a few more events in here. All right, so let's go ahead and actually just make the leaderboard stats right now. So we'll do game dot players dot player added connect function player, and then we're gonna do local leader stats uh, is equal to instance instance dot new folder. Okay, and if you want to make an inventory and actually want to have this invisible, then just make it make it call something else besides leader stats. Um, so yeah, and then we'll do leader stats dot name is equal to leader stats. Make sure you spell this right if you don't want it. To, if you want it to be like mine, make sure you spell it right, or else it won't work because leader stats is like one of those weird things, you know, where it has to be spelled just right and then it'll be in the leaderboard. 
Uh, there we go. All right, so then we're setting the name. You go to leader stats, and then the parent, you go to the player. And then we're going to do local wood, which is going to be an int value. Uh, we're going to make that right there. And then we're going to make the wood name, obviously, wood. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and make the wood value equal to 10. Just by default, we want to give them some extra wood. Uh, uh, there we go. And we'll do what about parent is equal to leader stats. All right, and let's copy and paste this and do the same thing for stone. Uh, so there we go, and then we're gonna go ahead and make the same thing for stone. Um, so then we'll do uh, stone, and then we'll do stone, 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 stone. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and actually, uh, actually that's good for now. But actually, let's go ahead and define a few more things right here. We're gonna define a replicator storage because uh, we're gonna need that for our. Uh, we're gonna need that for our. Um, Jeez, I can't think. For our tools. So game gets service replicated storage. And then we're gonna do local tools is equal to replicated storage. Wait for child's tools. And then also we actually need to make a quick um uh oh, no, we already made the event, never mind. So then we'll do local craft tool is equal to replicated storage, wait for child's craft tool, which is gonna be our remote function we're gonna use to make sure this works for FE and stuff like that. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh go to a local script real quick. And then we're going to insert a local script inside crafting frame, which basically is just going to tell us if they click, any, if they click any of these buttons. And if they did, then it's going to tell us uh, which one they clicked. And then we're going to fire the events. So we're going to do local. Actually, let's copy and paste that thing again. Uh, let's copy and paste this stuff right here. We're going to need this again in there. Oh crap! I accidentally closed that. Uh, we need this, and there we go. Okay, we're gonna need this because we're gonna call the we're gonna call the function here. So yeah. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and actually get the crafting frame, which is the script dot parent, because we put it right here, right? Uh, so local crafting frame is equal to script dot parent, and then we're gonna do um, for i comma button in pairs uh, crafting frame get children do if button is a text button a uh, text button. Then button dot mouse one or mouse button one up connects function craft craft oh crap I can't do it boys all right and then we're gonna fire the event so craft item or craft tool invoke server and then pass through the button's name because we're gonna need to know what tool we want to craft right uh, there we go. All right, perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and actually start writing this function. Before we do that, I forgot one thing. We need to make a module script, which is basically gonna hold all of our data for uh, the, the information these tools need. So basically, like, um, basically, like, um, like, like the tool info. Actually, I guess it could be called tool, but we'll, we'll name it that. All right, but I should rename this to crafting info. We're gonna actually rename that. Uh, crafting info. There we go. All right, and what we're gonna do actually with this is actually make a script to, or make a little like uh, dictionary or table type thing, which is gonna hold all the data for like basically how much, or what resources the tools need. So they need more wood, and then how much wood do they need? How much stone do they need? How much, you know, maybe they don't need stone, maybe they need wood only, you know, whatever it needs. So yeah. All right. So how we do that is we're gonna go ahead and just make a key for every item. So we're gonna call this one wood sword. And then we're going to basically just make a uh, table, or uh, what's the values in the key, I guess. Um, and then we're going to make it need wood. So obviously the wood sword needs wood, so we'll give it two wood. You know, we can, we can make whatever you want, but we're, I'm just going to do two. Um, and then you guys copy me if you want, but you can make your own if you want to. All right, and then we need the wood pickaxe, obviously. And actually, let me just copy and paste this, boys. Hashtags time-saving productive workers. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and do wood pickaxe. All right. And we're gonna make that need three wood, I guess. We're gonna make it a little bit different. And then we're gonna copy and paste this one more time. And then we're gonna need our stone sword. Okay. So we'll get a stone sword here, and we'll make that need. I don't. Know, I mean, we don't have to make it need wood, but I just won't do it anyways. I'll make it make it. I'll make it need one wood, and then I'll make it um, two stone. Okay. And then that'll be good. So there we go. So obviously, make sure you write it like how I, how I write it. You need to have um, like a little semicolon or a comma at the end. Um, at the end of this right here and if there's more than one value then you need to make sure you put a, um, a semicolon or a comma in here uh, that's how these work so yeah if you don't know how the syntax is then just copy this I guess <laughs> alright okay uh, anyways so we're almost done with this alright so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is make it so oh crap okay alright so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is write the event to craft our item so we're gonna do down here we're gonna do craft tool on server invoke so whenever a player clicks on one of those buttons this event's gonna fire or this 
from functions in a fire. And then we're going to pass through obviously the, the, the tool name, and then we're going to pass the player in there. Um, and then basically what we're going to do is find a few, a few quick things like the leader stats. So leader stats due to player leader stats. Uh, local stone is equal to leader stats dot stone. And they're going to do local wood is equal to leader stats dot wood. And then we're going to do local craft is equal to false um, just for now. Uh, all right. And then also we forgot to model script up here. Make sure you define that up here. So we'll just do uh, local... Uh, crafting info is equal to require um, replicate a storage wait for child mm, crafting crafting info perfect there you go all right awesome all right so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is basically loop through um, the, our crafting info see if they have the stuff for it and if they do subtract the values and then we're going to set crafting equal to true if it is true uh, and then we'll actually make it give the tool so yeah actually i guess we don't really and eh, we'll do it anyways all right all right so now we're going to go ahead and do four i through v uh in pairs actually yeah okay we'll do that all right so four i through v in pairs crafting info and then we're going to increment we're going to not increment it what is it called <laughs> we're going to do crafting info dot tool name we can't really do dot tool name because it Actually, I guess you could do that, but I'll, I'll, I'm going to use these little like little bracket things. That's just how I wrote it earlier. Um, but you, basically, that's just kind of like saying this dot. It's just it just. I guess actually, I, I don't know if that works. I'm pretty sure it does, but I, I don't know the exact syntax. <laughs> I don't remember it, honestly. But basically, what we're doing is we're doing crafting info dot tool name because um, you know we're going to crafting info and then dot wood sword or dot wood pickaxe, and then we're going to loop through there. Um, and then we're gonna see if they have the materials for it. So yeah, that's what that, what that, that's these do the same thing. That's what that does. So yeah. All right. Anyways, then we're gonna go ahead and do um. Oh, and all right. And then we're gonna do local material. Okay, if we loop into materials, is equal to leader stats. Uh, find first child, I. Okay. And then if material actually actually don't really need to define this. Uh, my bad. Delete that. All right. So then if material then. We're gonna do. We're gonna check to see if the material value is greater than the, what they need. So if material dot value is greater than or equal to v, then crafted is equal to true. Actually, we didn't craft it yet. Then we're gonna actually go ahead and remove the remove the value. So we're gonna do material dot value is equal to material dot value minus v. Okay. And then we're gonna do crafted is equal to true because we just took away the stuff. And then we're gonna do else. So if it doesn't have the right stuff. Um, then we're gonna do craft is equal to false. Uh, it'll stay false. I guess actually, I technically yes. I guess you don't really have to do that because we already set it to false up here. But whatever, we did it anyways. Okay. Um, <laughs> so now we're gonna do if craft is if it, if it did if it took the stuff away from the player like the values or whatever, then we're gonna do um, we're gonna find the tool. So we're gonna do local tool is equal to tools find first child tool name clone. And then we're going to do if tool. So if we found the tool, then um, um, then tool.parent is equal to player.backpack. All right, and now it should work just fine. So let's go test it out and see if it works. And this is the most exciting part of any script. <laughs> it's always like, oh, I hope it works. I hope it works. Uh, but it should work. Uh, all right, let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and hit wood pickaxe. And boom, we got a wood pickaxe. And then sword. Sword works. Um, also, I don't know what these pickaxes do. I don't know. They're kind of weird looking. But if you want to make your own tool, obviously you can. But this actually, this sword isn't that bad. I guess it kind of works. Uh, and then you have a stone sword. Oh, what the? Oh. <laughs> Dude, what, what are we doing, buds? What are we doing? <laughs> now, nah, the, the tool is anchored, obviously, as you can see. So let me unanchor that. Um, uh, unanchor the handle. There we go. Unanchor. There you go. All right. As you can see, it works just fine. So yeah, and there's actually an error for the script because that's like how the, these these scripts are just bad for the tools. Um, but that's not that's not our script. It's just a tool. All right, yeah. So it works. Awesome, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, like, always make sure to. Oh my god, I talk so fast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, like, always make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Uh, I make awesome Roblox script tutorials slash development tutorials every other day. Um, so yeah, subscribe for that. Leave a like to help you out, guys. This is just a, a simple crafting system and how to do it. So yeah. All right. Uh, also, watch my inventory system. It's way. It's really, really cool. You can tie this in with that actually pretty easily. Um, all you need to do actually is just um, move this to the inventory, and you can tie that in. So I might have the card to that up there somewhere. Um, but yeah. 
uh, watch that video and then maybe watch the play the placing system. That was pretty cool too. But yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Uh, okay, peace. <laughs>